After watching this video, you will know how to quickly install A3R, update it, and then customize your game in as little as five minutes. You want to play Arma 3 like it's next gen and not a 10 year old game. You're in the right place to absolutely change how to play Arma 3 forever. You're going to get A3R, Arma 3 Remastered. You can download just the mods, settings, or controls, but I recommend installing the whole thing so you can just play without problems. To my Arma modding veterans, you won't need to watch this whole video. You will see why in a second. My name is Nanner and let's get started. First, I will do a quick breakdown of the A3R install process, then follow it up with a full step-by-step -step tutorial. To install A3R, you just need to download the mods, download the profile and mod preset, which contains your controls and add-on options. You will save the profile to your documents folder, import the mod preset in the Arma 3 launcher, and then switch profiles in game. And that's it. You can enjoy the core A3R experience. But A3R is designed for you to quickly and readily customize your game without spending hours curating your mod list. Next, you will create a preset as a foundation using the Arma preset creator with your personal Steam Workshop collection. Then you will customize the preset to your heart's desire. And then when A3R gets updates, you can opt in on any manual changes to controls or add-on options listed in the update. Subscribe to my channel and join the Nanner Discord server to get all of the latest updates. Now watch the rest of the video for the step-by-step -step guide. Go to the Arma 3 Remastered Steam Workshop page. Get there by clicking Workshop, going to the Collections, and searching A3R Core. When we see A3R Core, Arma 3 Remastered, open up the collection and then scroll down to the Play Now banner. It says click Subscribe to All. So we're going to click Subscribe Add Only. Next, we're going to download the latest Arma 3 Remastered zip file. I go back up to the top here, going to click Download button. It says, Hey, you're, notice you're leaving Steam because you're going to Google Drive. Yes, that's what you're doing. Uh, never just trust this stuff, but I created this, I trust it. This is why I see the Arma 3 Remastered zip file. I'm going to download that file. Google scans for viruses, so we're good to go there. And I will just save this in my downloads folder. Next, we have to extract the files from this. So I went to my downloads folder, found the zip file, Arma 3 Remastered. I'm going to right click it and extract all. I'll click extract. Inside of the Arma 3 Remastered folder is the Arma 3 Other Profiles folder. I'm going to take this folder and copy it and put it into my Arma 3 Profiles folder. To get to the Arma 3 Profile folder, I'm gonna go find my users account right here. Under my documents, is under the documents folder of your Windows account, you will see an Arma 3 folder or an Arma 3 other profiles folder. If you don't see the Arma 3 other profiles folder, there should be an Arma 3 folder. If the Arma 3 folder is not in here, you don't see it, you're in the wrong place. Go and find it somewhere else. It could be, your documents could be in the OneDrive folder or somewhere else on your computer. You need to see an Arma 3 folder. If you don't have this in here, you're looking in the wrong place. All you have to do is paste the Arma 3 other profiles folder here. So right, so we from this folder right here and we're copying, copy, and then pasting that folder here. If there's anything about replacing and all that, yeah, just do it. Replace the files in the destination. And now you have a profile in here. So I copied this folder and now everything that was in that folder is now in my Arma 3 other pro profiles folder. Now we're going to open up the Arma 3 launcher. If you're not already on the mods page, go to the mods page, go to the top right, click on the presets, go down here, we're going to click import. Import the preset. Now the easiest place to find that preset is right where we just saved those files. So I'm going to go back into my user profiles under my user documents, Arma 3, other profiles, and find the Nanner A3R profile folder. In this case, mine is Nanner A3R V24. And in here, I should now see a preset called Arma 3 Remastered and whatever version it is, that file right there. If you haven't already downloaded any files, the launcher will start downloading files that were imported in that preset. We'll look at the top right here. It says Arma 3 Remastered version 023. That's the preset I just put in. I named it that, so I expect it to show up here. And now all the mods that are in that preset show up and are checked off as loaded mods. There are currently 93. And now I'm going to click Play with Mods. So now the game's going to load up. Once you're at the main menu, go to the top right to the profile image and select the name of your profile. Next, select the Nanner A3R version profile and do not click Edit. Don't go in and start changing your player name now. We're going to do that in a moment. Instead, click OK. Now that we've clicked OK, go back up into your profile image here and see that Nano A3R has been selected. Click into that and now click edit and change your player name to anything unique that isn't already over here on the left. If you do type in, let's say I'll type in upload 
And if my player name is upload, this new profile will kind of overwrite this old one, but not completely and things get really weird really fast. And you're going to wonder why things don't work. So I always suggest putting in a new player name. Then you can select a face just like any other time with your profiles. It's like once you're done making your selections, click apply and then click OK. Now I'm done with the profile. My profile is now Nanner. I highly suggest you going into options, video and updating your video settings and just click auto detect. If you want to go play with your your video options, go for it. I have a whole video on how to increase your FPS. Go watch that. And don't forget this part. We're not done. We're not done. Don't just play the game. Please don't just play the game. Again, you're going to get weird artifacts. Just quit the game. Go to the top right and quick quit. And now you're good to play. Click play with mods and play some Arma 3 like it's 2024. Banana, what if we want to use some other mods? Boy, do I have a solution for you. Basically, it's just combining Steam Workshop mods and collections into a single collection, making staying up to date and keeping track of your mod pack simple. Keep watching to change how you mod Arma 3 forever. We are going to start with Remastered DLC, otherwise known as RDLC, which are groups of pre-configured mods and then move to individual mods afterward. I right, go back to the workshop. For the RDLC, we're going to look up the A3R Core collection. So just type in A3R Core. Open up the A3R Core collection. If you haven't already, click Favorite. You need to complete this step so you do not get stuck at step number eight. You'll see why in a moment. So now go back to the Arma 3 workshop, go to Browse, Collections, and we're going to Create Collection. And here, you're going to give your collection a title and then select a branding image. Okay, I'll pick a Nintendo Switch logo, but you have to have a branding image. So select one. You can't move forward with that one. Everything else you can really just move on and save and continue. And remember where I told you to favorite that uh, A3R core collection? Well, this is where we're going to use it here. Click the tab for items in your favorites and scroll down to A3R core Arma 3 remastered and select that. And you'll see it show up under here under linked collections. And again, this is another place where you have to put something here to move forward, which is why I had you favorite that collection okay, click save and continue and now we're at the fun part we uh, we at this point we can just click publish and now you have a collection and this collection has the a3r core mods in it but you, we want to add other mods and our dlcs so let me show you how to do that so let's personalize your mod preset let's click into a3r core i'm going to scroll down to the rdlc collection and rdlc really quick is remastered rdlc are additional optional mods sets. Each RDLC is not included in the base mod set because they each have drawbacks. So read the descriptions on the workshop page for each RDLC to determine when to use the RDLC. Otherwise, you know, basically RDLC only exists because not everybody's going to want to use these mods all the time, but only for certain people. The graphics mods are clearly for people who have computers that can run with the graphics. Immersion makes the game a little bit harder to play because it takes away a lot of UI elements, makes things more immersive realism is big like a lot of people won't like that one because all the mods in there are designed to make the game more realistic and that also means it makes the game harder and then sounds the sounds can be really loud performance is because like it's just extra mods you might not really need them and so that's why they're separate and we have even have an ace one down here if you want to use ace click into the ace rdlc because that one has its own section in fact ace three is just a few mods plus a three r core and you'll see how this works in a moment. So I'm going to try to add the graphics R DLC and select add to collection. Steam's going to show me a list of all of my collections. I'm going to find the one that I wanted to add to. In this case, it was called Nanner says subscribe. Let's go back to the APR course collection and we're right back to our DLC. So I have graphics now. Let's say I want immersion as well. I'll click into immersion, click add to collection and find my collection. Nanner says subscribe. Click OK. And now both of those R DLC are connected. Again, you can see the RDLC has a bunch of mods. So in just two clicks, I just selected a ton of mods that increase my graphics and immersion. Another good one is the sounds. I think that really increases immersion. So I'll select sounds and do the same thing. Click add to collection and select my collection. <clears throat> okay, so let's say those are cool. Um, I want graphics, immersion, sounds, and everything else I'm not really interested in right now. I'm not gonna play Zeus. Uh, let's say I'm not doing any vehicles. Or I like my vanilla vehicle, so I'm not gonna touch those. So I got my three DLC that I want, which comes with a ton of mods. Now it gets really interesting here. There are a lot like over 100,000 mods for Arma 3, and you might want to personalize your remastered experience by adding mods one by one from our add-on collections uh, for your A3R mod set. And these mods were not included in the base set, nor our DLC, because they are not for everyone. These mods are not for everyone in any case whatsoever. So like they're, they're very personalized, very 
to your preference types of mods that don't necessarily fit under any category for graphics, immersion, realism, sounds, etc. that would work for everybody. And so let's uh, let's see, probably the most the most common one that you're going to run into are like the medical mods, like the, med the medical mods don't work with each other and and they don't work with every mission. So I could not include them in any RDLC because they're just going to break the game and they don't work with each other and people like different medical mods. And so uh, set that one separate. Same thing with AI. Not all the AI mods work well together and they break missions. So those could not be added to any other ones. These are just one off mods. So you kind of just have to add them whenever you want to. Same thing with utilities. There's the command mods. You don't need all of them, but you can just pick one. And none of them are particularly better than other. It just depends on how you want to use them. And then the big one, I think, is the quality of life mods. These ones make the game a little bit easier. Not everybody wants that, so I couldn't add that into the RDLC. You're going to add that on your own. Let's go shopping. Quality of life. Let's see. Let's scroll down. What kind of mods do we want? Do you want AIs that does that avoids prone? Maybe. Maybe not. Um, I want a bigger compass. No, actually, let's do this. I want a horizontal compass. So this is one of the, the horizontal compass shows up on the screen. I want that. I'll click add to collection. Find my collection. Enter says subscribe. Click OK. Go back. Supply armor. That could be a good one. Slow motion while commanding. So if I'm commanding my AI playing single player, this this mod could be really useful. So um, I'll add it to my collection. And then if I'm playing multiplayer, I could remove it from my collection or just remove it from the mod set in the in the launcher, whichever's easier at the time. A great one that a lot of people like is the DUI squad radar. Any other ones from here? Oh, yes, liability insurance. This is a great quality of life one. People get ran over by their teammates, right? And in this one, this keeps units from getting killed by friendly vehicles. So let's add that one as well. So those are cool, right? So I got a couple of mods, just individual mods here. Let's go ahead and let's pick a medical mod. So a great medical mod, I think, that a lot of people can get used to, that's pretty easy, is the armor plate system. So let's say I want to play with that one. I'm going to add that to my collection. And then let's do AI. We'll do the DCO soldier because this is a great mod. And then I want some cheats. So I'm going to go to my utilities and get myself single, simple single player cheat menu. Get a little cheat menu here. And um, boom, it's in my collection. I'm still working on gear packs. These are, you know, themes of your choice at this point. Like what you're going to do instead is do what literally everybody else does that you've probably learned from literally everybody on Arma 3, which is you go find your gear that you'll want. I want to add RHS to my collection and use that, right? So instead, I just went to RHS or looked up RHS or let's say I want um, USP gear. I look up USP. I mean, heck, I can I can just look up the individual mods myself. USP. There we go. USP gear. I want that. I want to add USP gear. So this is completely not on the APR core because this is APR was mostly for gameplay and mechanics, not necessarily gear. And so um, I'm, I'm going to get the USP gear just from the from the workshop. So I'm just searching literally anywhere on the workshop and just adding it to my collection. This is seriously the easy, easiest way to do all this. Uh, what else do I want to buy or get? Let's say I want an Apache helicopter. So I'm going to look up Apache AH640 project. So I like this one. I'm going to add that to my list as well. Enter says subscribe. So that's everything else. Just add it to my custom collection and just keep doing that. The next thing is here. I'm going to go to my custom collection. So I'm going to go to my custom collection by going to browse collections and then go to my stuff, your files, files you've posted, collections, Nanner says subscribe. All right. So now you go back to your collection and it looks like this. Mine was called Nanner says subscribe. And I see a whole list of of mods. These are all the individual mods that I added. And then down here are the RDLC or the collections that I added. All these are linked collection. So I have my APR core mods, my RDLC. Each one you can tell there's how many mods are in them. Each RDLC is about 20 and then the, each of the individual mods that I wanted. OK, so now I'm going to click share. I'm going to copy this link right here. Open up a browser and so go to Arma preset creator or uk. So this website is going to automatically transform your collection into a mod preset. Literally, you only do it once. You just put your collection, save it, call it a day. It makes it super easy to find all your mods and put them into here. So, OK, so all we have to do is literally just paste and then create. So now we see here there are a total of 167 mods that would equal to about 31 gigabytes, assuming that Steam is correct. All right. So the easiest thing to do here, I'm going to click this Chevron to minimize it and click download preset. You're not about to download 31.4 gigabytes. If you already have the mods downloaded, then you don't have to worry about it. But, but right now it's just an HTML document. It's tiny. We're going to download it and hit save. Now it's time to freaking play some Arma. Open up the Arma 3 launcher, go to the mods tab and we're going to import that HTML file. OK, this one, Nanner says subscribe. Import, clicking open. 
All right, so I didn't have all the mods downloaded, and so Arma's gonna now download those 31.4 gigabytes of mods, assuming I don't have them all downloaded. So these five mods right here are not already downloaded, so I'm going to click subscribe. Now Arma is going to download the mods for me. We have our mods, our whole preset is here forever. You now have a full setup of mods, customized to your liking, and just like we saw on the website, 167 loaded mods. And so now we can click play with mods. If you do have friends, you might want to get make sure that they get all the same mods as you, right? So one way you could do it is the vanilla way, which is have them join your game, but then they might have to download a ton of mods and it might take forever and it's just going to take a longer time. The easiest way to do it is just literally just send them the link from arma presetcreator.co.uk and have them download the HTML. It's this one up here. It's it's literally this link. It's just arma presetcreator.co.uk slash the Steam Collection ID. Just send them that on Discord's. But yeah, so you just share it right there. Your little friend can click on it and then click the Chevron thing and click download preset and then do the whole importy thing just like you did. And bam, your buddies also have 160 mods in literally seconds and you can play together. If you're going to go back and work on your collection or change anything, you can do it just here the old fashioned way, add and remove mods. But if you're working with lots of mods, it can just be easier to uh, go back into your collections and create a new collection or remove mods from your collection and then resave it into a new preset. And that way you can better keep track of your mods. If you want to use your own controls or settings, follow the written guide linked in the video description. To get a head start on the controls and new features in A3R, click this video. Make Arma fun again. Subscribe and hit the notification bell and spread the good news. You and me are building a new base Arma 3 that nobody can live without. It has to be so good that Arma 3 gets to over 30,000 concurrent players again, even though it's over 10 years old. If you want to make this happen, tell your friends about my channel and let me know what changes you would make to A3R.